The Story of a Fairy Tale by Carl Ewald. Once upon a time, ever so many years ago, truth suddenly vanished from the world. When people perceived this, they were greatly alarmed and at once sent five wise men in search of truth. They set out, one in this direction and the other in that direction. They sought for ten long years. Then they returned, each separately. While still at a distance, they waved their hats and shouted that they had found truth. The first stepped forward and declared that truth was science. He was not able to finish, however, for before he had done so, another thrust him aside and shouted that this was a lie, that truth was theology, and that he had found it. There came a third and said in beautiful words that love was truth without a doubt. Then came the fourth, who stated quite curtly that he had truth in his pocket, that it was gold, and that all the rest were childish nonsense. At last came the fifth. He could not stand on his legs, gave a girlish laugh, and said that truth was wine. He had found truth in wine after looking everywhere. Then the five wise men began to fight, and they pummeled one another so lustfully that it was horrible to watch. Science had its head broken, and love was so greatly ill-treated that it had to change its clothes before it could show itself in respectable society. Gold was so thoroughly stripped of every covering that people felt awkward just knowing it. And the bottle broke and wine flowed everywhere into the mud. But theology came off worst of all. Everyone had a blow at it, and it received such a beating that it became the laughing stock of all beholders. And people took sides, some with this one and some with that, and they shouted so loud that they could neither see nor hear from each other. But far away, at the extreme end of the earth, sat a few and they mourned because they thought that truth had gone to pieces and would never be made whole again. Now as they sat there, a little girl came running up and said that she had found truth. If they would just come with her, it was not very far. Truth was sitting in the midst of the world, in a green meadow. Then came a pause in the fighting, for the little girl looked so sweet. First one went to her, then another, and even more. At last, they were all in the meadow, and they discovered a figure, the like of which they had all never seen before. There was no distinguishing whether it was a man or a woman, an adult or a child. Its mouth opened into the biggest smile and then quivered with a sadness greater than any could describe. Now, as they stood there and stared, the figure drew itself erect and cried in a voice that sounded like bells ringing, I am truth. It's a fairy tale, yelled science. It's a fairy tale, cried theology, and love, and gold, and wine. Then the five wise men and their followers, they went away, and they continued to fight until the world was shaken to its core. But a few old and weary men, and a few young and ardent eager souls, and many women, and thousands of children with eyes wide open, still remained in the meadow where the fairy tale stood. <laughs>